Welcome to Cozy Pickers Podcast. My mommy Shan. Hey. My hey. sister Ari. Say hi, Ari. Hey. And I'm Anya. Let's go. go! Hey, this is Shan. Mama the girls, thank you for checking in. If this is your first time at Cozy Womb Podcast, welcome. It's a very random but frequently posted show. Enjoy what you can when you can. It's for new parents. Y'all are very welcome. It's for a second, third, or more time around parents too. And I did not forget those of you who aren't quite there yet, haven't had your first kid, but you're thinking about it and you're just curious on what it takes to go ahead and survive the kids that you may make. Cool. Since we're all here, let's get into today's episode. I see. All right. Hey, guys. It's me, Shan, and um, it's Anya. Anya created a uh, podcast topic. She wants to talk about what kids can be allergic to. So we're going to go over common allergies, what do you do if you're allergic to it, and what you should avoid. All right. So the first allergy we have is what? Cheese. Okay. So some kids are allergic to cheese. All right. Do you eat cheese? Oh, yeah. Okay. And you're fine when you eat cheese, right? I eat cheese. Aria eats cheese. So what should kids not eat? If they are allergic to cheese, um, they can't eat it. What shouldn't they eat? Like, don't eat it. They shouldn't eat trees, trees, cheese crackers. No cheese crackers. No macaroni and cheese. No macaroni and cheese. No cheese sandwich. No cheese sandwich. And no cheese eggs. No cheese eggs and no string cheese. And what should you do if a kid? at school or at camp eats cheese and they're allergic. So a teacher Right. Or if their mom and dad is around, you should tell their mom and dad that they ate cheese. Yeah. Because sometimes kids and you know they can get like a whole bunch of bumps on them or they can stop breathing if they eat cheese and they're allergic. And sometimes they can die. Ah. Yes. All right, what's the next allergy that kids could be allergic to? Chocolate. Chocolate. Do you eat chocolate? Mm, yeah. Ari really doesn't like chocolate, but she eats it sometimes. So what um, should kids avoid when they're allergic to chocolate? They couldn't eat um, chocolate cookies. No chocolate cookies. I got chocolate cookies. No, you don't. What else? No Chewies. No Chewies. No Kit Kat. No Kit Kat. Uh, no Snickers. No Snickers. No Dickers. No Reese's. No, no Reese's. No M&M's. No brownies. Like anything with chocolate in it. Chocolate milk. Don't drink it. All right. Um, so even with that, you should tell their teacher or tell their mom and dad. What's the next thing that kids could be allergic to? Pepperoni. Now, pepperoni is something that you can eat by itself. They sell it in the packs by itself. Okay, give me a second, Ari. Or um, they have it on pizza. Or some pizzas may have, like, a meat pizza, and there's, like, a whole bunch of different meats, and pepperoni could be on there. So I would make sure that kid avoids eating pizza without the parents around because it's not specified eating certain sandwiches because sometimes they put pepperonis on sandwiches and um just like meats that they're not sure of what's the ingredients the next thing that um it just whenever you speak it'll show it so it could tell you that you're speaking and it's listen so the next um common allergy would be like ice cream or milk some people are what you call lactose intolerant. So some kids can't have any like milk dairy products. So no milkshakes, no cake, because sometimes in cake there's milk in there. Not everybody uses water. Stop, Ari. Um, Mommy, stop. No milk, no and ice cream. No milk. Um, and you should tell your teacher 
or their mom and dad, their stomachs may hurt if they have that, or they'll have like bad cramping, or they can break out. Their skin could have like bumps all over yeah, it. Yeah, like you. <laughs> Whatever. And then, <laughs> um, you know what I'm allergic to that I shouldn't have? Soda. Whenever I have soda. I'm allergic to soda too. No, you're not because you don't drink soda. I don't let you drink soda. Um, When I drink soda, my skin breaks out. Really like around my face and my cheeks. um, And my arms, they break out. So I don't. This is something. Stop. Okay. So I don't drink. um, I don't drink soda. Soda. Um, But sometimes if I see a Jamaican soda, I might indulge. But I'm not supposed to. Um, peanuts. Some kids are allergic to peanuts. Really bad, okay? They can stop breathing. Yes, they can, um, they can, um, they can, um, die? If, if they don't get help, yes. But hopefully that doesn't happen, so they should not eat nuts, Snickers. Oh, I saw, I saw a class will say no peanuts. Yeah, because peanuts are sometimes in things that people cook with. Sometimes people, things that people bake with. So nothing with the nuts in it. Um, and usually if you look on the packaging, it'll tell you no nuts or it may have nuts in it. What's the next thing we have on here? Uh, cats. Cats. I don't know why cats would be at school or camp, but okay. So, but what if you have a, what if somebody has a cat at home and you're allergic to cats? You're supposed to run away. You're supposed to run away if, and don't touch cats. Yeah, because, don't. Because they, sometimes they have bugs on it. Sometimes they have bugs like fleas. Or sometimes if somebody has a lot of cat hair on their shirt or their pants because they have a cat at home and you're allergic to cats and you touch it or you smell it, you might start sneezing or your eyes might turn red, things like that. And that's what tells you that you're allergic to um, cats. Sometimes they can scratch when they get by the shadow. Yes, but there shouldn't be any cats at um, school. Do you guys have any pets in your classroom? Huh? Do you have any pets in your classroom? Oh, no. Okay. Some some teachers have like pets in their classroom. Sometimes, sometimes they they put they um put a sign with and it says no pets in my classroom, but it's by the toys. Okay. It's at the bottom. Has anybody brought a pet to school? Oh yes, they put they brought a, a turtle. Who brought a turtle? Um, uh, my Me. my friend. Really? Me? Was it a baby turtle? Oh yeah, baby turtle. I used to have a baby turtle. Stop writing on me, all right? But, yeah, so that's all we have for um, allergies and things that kids may be allergic to. You want to say anything else? Mm. Sometimes uh, people are allergic to dogs. Yeah, so people could be allergic to dogs. I think your grandma is allergic to dogs. Yeah, she's allergic to dogs. But she's allergic to cats. Yeah, I don't think your grandma likes cats. I used to have a cat. She didn't like them too much. She told me, she told me she don't like cats. Okay. Um, stop writing on me, Ari. What else? Are we done? Um. Stop. Um, sometimes. Get the pen. Sometimes people. Get the pen. Sometimes people are allergic to bears because they have lots of hair on them. Who do you know that's allergic to bears, though, Anya? Because some nobody's around bears that you know. Are you making stuff up? <laughs> Are you making stuff up right now? No. It sounds like you're making stuff up. Are you doing that? I think you need a nap. You wanna go to the park? Oh yeah, I wanna go to the park. 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 You gotta comb your hairs. Okay, so we're gonna go. Um, but that's uh, some things that kids may be allergic to. And kids. Oh, mommy. Hmm. Can we go to? Can we go to? Can, can we, we go? close out this episode first before we talk about the park? Gotcha. If there's any kids out there that's um, allergic to certain foods, do not eat food from anybody at school. Do not give anyone at school your food. I tell my kids that because it's very important. Even when it comes to drinking, if you drink it from other kids, you can um, get something called mono. Kids die from mono um, a lot. 
throughout the school year. So just make your kids aware and you be aware as a parent. Do not eat or drink from other people at school. If your teacher does not give it to you out of the package, do not drink it. And if you put down your water or your juice without... um no cheese that's right if you put down your water or your juice without putting your name on it and it's a whole bunch of other bottles around there if you're not sure that it's your juice do not drink it that is today's cozy womb episode really anya's episode anything you want to say anya um hmm. thank you for um coming up with the idea for allergies it's a good episode Sometimes you you can um sometimes you can die because if you eat chocolate or cheese or um, pepperoni or ice cream or peanuts or a cat, well, you're not eating cats, but if you're around cats, yeah, you're around cats. Sometimes they can. Sometimes you can get if you get around cats. Sometimes you can get you can get a lots of hair. Yes, yeah. like lots of hair on you. Which is why I'm not getting a cat. And when we get a dog, we're getting a short hair dog that does not leave a lot of hair on the house. No long hair dogs because I don't have time. So, um, last time Grandma has a lot of, oh, I mean Gigi has a lot of hair on her carpet because the dog been around. Yes. Yeah. All right. We're gone. We're going to the park. Bye. Bye. Say bye. 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 Thank you guys for listening to Cozy Womb Podcast. Please let us know your thoughts at 470-210-8752 or on Instagram at Cozy Womb Podcast or Twitter at Cozy Womb Pod. Or you can definitely email us at CozyWombMama at gmail.com. See ya! What's so special about Hero Bread's soft, fluffy, and delicious breads, buns, and tortillas? These ultra-low-net-carb baked goods contain zero sugar, fewer calories, and more protein than the leading brands, and are high in fiber to support gut health. Shop now at Hero.co.